my favorite. Uh, the girl from Homeland is in this. Claire uh, Danes. Yeah, she cries. She she makes the same cry face. John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo. My people. In this. Oh my, my god, John Leguizamo. We've got uh, Paul. Paul Giamatti. Something. Not Paul Giamatti. Another another Paul Newman. Not Paul Newman. Paul. Blart. <gasps> the J.B. Kennedy human experiment. <gasps> That's right. That's right. Did you notice if he was tongue acting? Tongue yeah, acting. Yeah, lots of tongue acting. Can we just talk about what a really sad Venice Beach knockoff Verona Beach is? I know. It's like Venice Beach, but even worse. They even have like a weird CD carnival. This is how the movie gets started. All right, yeah, lay it out for us. Lay it out. 1590s? No. No. Nay. 1990s. 1990s. Hawaiian shirts are sexy, apparently. And the newscasters speak in iambic pentameter for, for some, some reason. reason undisclosed to me. They still do to, to this day. Newscasters speak in iambic pentameter. Oh, yeah. I love getting some poetic weather. The families are alike in dignity. They, they are alike in dignity. What does dignity mean in 1990s LA? Nothing. Mm, not that Nothing. Much. In today in LA, I feel like dignity still means nothing. There's a lot of indiscriminate gun waving going on. There like is. Tibble points a gun in a kid's face at the gas station. Which is almost stupider than the opening of Zoolander. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were going to have a gasoline Why fight. Why they have a gasoline fight and then shoot the guns? Right. It's getting homoerotic it, in the pool hall. Well, at least something is getting erotic. All those poles and balls. And sh no shirts. Leo's contract specifically, though, stipulated that he could not be fully topless. And do you know how you know that he's sad? Because he sighs a lot. He sighs and he smokes while writing poetry. Oh, yeah. He's emoing out a bit. He's super emoing out. sad over Rosalind, who is becoming a nun because she's so tired of dealing with his bullshit that she's. <laughs> it's like when women in bars tell men that they're a lesbian to get yeah, them to leave. Yeah, exactly, promo. exactly. So the party. The Capulets are throwing this party. Right. So many good costumes the 90s had to offer. And uh, Romeo is yeah. also a knight. This is what you would wear if you wanted to be the hottest guy at the Renaissance Fair. Oh my god, you're right. Oh, um, and her mom is Lannistering out. Right! With Tibble, yeah. They got Because they're related. Like, something's happening behind the scenes there. Not no. even behind the scenes, their tongues like, are in their mouth. So they lock eyes between this aquarium. And then a little clown fit goes <laughs> by. And then Nemo swims by. And they make out in elevators a couple of times. Yeah, and then they're in love forever. Okay, public service announcement. Yeah, if you're if you're a child who is learning from us right now, kids. Have sex not in the pool. Not in the pool. The inconstant pool. It's difficult. Somebody's got to clean in that pool, and I think that's that is that what's pool. missing from Romeo and Juliet. Is the servants? Yes. You want more of an upstairs, downstairs do. style <laughs> version? So they're hanging out on apocalyptic wasteland Verona Beach yeah. again. Mercutio is sounding off. Because he's still screaming at the sky. He's still screaming <laughs> and waving his gun around. It's like a four-year-old playing with a gun. You're like, don't touch it! For some bizarre reason, Tybalt stabs Mercutio. Right? Who uses a knife? Because this is personal. That's what Law and Order has taught me. Mercutio dies. Romeo gets mad. He gets real pissed. He kills like Wazamo. And now it's time for Romeo to go because he's been banished. He's been banished for killing Tybalt. So, no, well, P Papa Lawrence. So, yeah, so Papa he's Lawrence. so stoned. That's how he comes up right? with this idea. He thinks this is a really good idea. This is like how South Park started. They're just like, yo, I got this really good idea. Okay. You're gonna pretend to be dead. Mm hmm. And then you can run away from your family. But we're gonna write to Romeo so that he comes at exactly the right time right. when you wake up and is able to take you away. The game plan is unnecessarily complicated. complicated. Like, right? this is a world where there are airplanes and cars. I know, no, it's, it is, it's 1995. There's a telephone. Right. There's technically email. Romeo goes, and he's basically Hunter S. Thompsoning out. He's Definitely in a place is. even shittier than Venice, Verona Beach. Basically, FedEx doesn't deliver the letter on time. Because the friar needed to pay extra to get that sign on delivery, and he didn't and he did it. it. And Romeo never gets the letter. And instead, some little shit comes in and is like, guess what, Romeo? Remember your girlfriend? He hears his girl is dead. He's like, okay, I wanted to do a murder-suicide, but it's just going to be like an untimely death suicide. And is like, okay, I'm gonna go to Juliet's grave because I need to see her one last time and yeah. maybe jerk off a little bit. So he goes back to Verona Beach. In the play, he takes out Paris, but here, Paris is blessedly saved. Saved. And goes Which on to great. make movies with Jack Attack. There's this unfortunate mishap. The movie makes it real close. She's just waking up, Juliet yeah. is, when he takes the poison, but it's too late. And they lock eyes, and it's heartbreaking. He didn't even try to make himself throw up though. He's dead and then she listens to Papa Roach with the gun to her head and then finally kills herself. It's really sad. This is all that weed dealer Papa Lawrence's fault. 
Juliet tells Romeo, swear not by the moon. No. The, the constant, constant moon that, that monthly, monthly changes, changes in her circled orb. orb. But I think it... Why is she so upset with the moon? Is it because of her period? Maybe. Maybe. Because ladies and the moons. I think she's a werewolf. <gasps> Thanks for watching. Uh, drink. Thanks for watching Drinking Dames. If you want to watch more videos, you can click over here. If you want to donate to our Patreon, you click up here. And if you want to give us a movie to recommend that we discuss while intoxicated, put them in the comments and then give us a like because we like those. I like you.